Hi guys, follow me on Instagram to never ever miss any of my crazy updates. Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I'm driving this. This is the Volkswagen Tiger. Now this is actually a lower trim of the GT. Meanwhile, this is actually the manual. Let's open the engine bay because that is the same as before and it's actually easy to open. There's the engine. There's no insulation unfortunately. And of course there are a lot of changes on this car. Actually it misses on a lot of kit. First and foremost, this chrome is missing which is actually there on the higher trim of the GT. It doesn't get LED lights and there's a change here, okay? The DRL is actually on the lower side, I mean here. In the higher trim which has all LEDs, it is on the top, the DRL. Meanwhile, it also gets smaller wheels, yeah, 16 inches instead of 17. Alloy wheel design is so-so, not that impressive. 205, 60, 16 is the size of the tires but still it says GT right there. Now, non-GT variants actually get ventilated seats. No ventilated seats for the GT trim. I honestly do not know why. Okay, it's not very big as such in terms of size when compared to its rivals. And at the rear, again, the lights look really very nice. Thankfully, they have given LED lights and uh, you get a rear camera. Car is a little dirty right now, but looks quite nice. Come to the other side and you realize those roof rails actually get accentuated on this red color. And because this is the red colored car, the interior also has slightly different things. Now, here you get a plastic instead of sort of a glass treatment. And there's good amount of space at the rear, actually impressive space. And you can split fold the seats as well if you so wish. Cup holders, twin USB seat charging sockets, rear AC vents, good amount of legroom, knee room, under thigh support, headroom is just about adequate for someone. As tall as me, scooped out seat bag, big door pockets. So yeah, it's actually very practical. Good packaging by VW, really impressive. Boot is decent, not really big. A lot of luggage lying randomly right now, but that does not matter because the interior is very different and impressive here. Why is it different? Because it gets this red color treatment everywhere. So you see, red finishing on the dashboard too. On the center console as well, I really like it. Okay, that's quite sporty. However, I could not show you the key because it gets a manual key. Yeah, I mean, you have to start it like normal. What am I even talking about? Basically, it doesn't get push button start. Just say that directly while you're beating around the bush. See, it's actually very comfortable. This is actually sliding. Okay, and below here is decent amount of storage space, making a lot of sound. You get a regular instrument cluster. Okay, it does not get the virtual cockpit with a multi-information display in the center. So analog unit and you can browse through it with a lot of information as well. But obviously the virtual cockpit one is really very nice. However, I like analog because there's a proper tachometer scooped out and uh, not scooped out sorry flat bottom steering wheel there are buttons missing here because it doesn't get cruise control so yeah there are buttons to go for the audio i mean for the audio system there are buttons on the higher trim the horn very meek do not like it at all wipers work decently well good amount of spray no auto dimming inside rear view mirror in this car and uh, this screen the 10 inch screen is actually very fluid usual affair get a reverse parking camera 12 volt charging socket wireless charger automatic climate control which is similar to the Kushak. In fact, I kid you not, all of this is very similar to the Kushak. And there, of course, is my perfume, car perfume involved one mask. I love it. The smell is really very nice. You can keep the key here. Okay. And uh, physical handbrake. We've done this piano black finishing in multiple places. But what do you think about this red color finishing? Do you think it's over the top? Or is it subtle enough? I think it's really very nice. Now, it doesn't get the perforated treatment on the steering wheel, that leather. So, yeah, certain things are missing in the lower trim and so many hard plastics in this car crazy amount of hard plastic so they've cut costs in that regard obviously you get reach and rake adjustment for the steering wheel but for the most part car look i mean remains more or less the same as before they could have actually put a sunglass holder on the top obviously it misses out on a sunroof as well so yeah they've cut a lot of features on the lower gt trim the high gt trim gets everything so i'm looking at really aggressive pricing and then this is very fluid to use you obviously get the ghana app that is basically VW Play apps. You get audio books and whatnot. Let's play an audio right away. Internet unavailable, okay? No internet connection because we're in the middle of nowhere. However, audio quality is okay. It's not that great because it's not really a branded audio system like in the case of its rivals. This is a manual, so it's going to be super fun. What are we waiting for? Let's just start driving. All right, we're all set to go, which means turning off the air conditioning, of course. Handbrake down, turning off the traction control as well. Air conditioning could have had uh, physical controls would have been slightly easier i feel into first gear revving the motor revs all the way till slightly under 4000 rpm and oh that's quite a lot of wheel spin on offer my goodness this engine feels so freaking punchy in the manual now because you can actually have an aggressive launch which is not the case with the dsg because dsg has that lag to prevent the gearbox from failing or blowing up anyways 
great amount of grunt in the mid range and this car feels so good to drive around the corners first and foremost the steering wheel is a delight here it's light but it has feel it has feedback and the brakes are super duper awesome as well there's so much grip on offer now it's absolutely insane you get onto the throttle there's always grunt because it has such a stupendous power delivery mid range low end top end everything there is so much to offer and obviously the gearbox is slick shifting as well and the clutch is also on the lighter side okay the throws are a little long but you won't really complain about it because it slots right into place right into position and with the bump oh my god yeah through the bumps you can feel it actually rattles a bit because obviously this uh, has a very stiff chassis as such so this is the MQB A0 IN platform and it's a good platform it's amazing because first and foremost it has the best ride and handling balance of any car in the segment it is very engaging to drive very much fun and then you know what ride quality for the most part is absolutely stunning it's only through really bad bumps now it crashes through it but for the most part you have nothing to complain about now this is the 1.5 liter psi evo motor which actually produces 150 ps of power and the torque output is 250 newton meters the result is it goes from 0 to 100 km per hour in under 9 seconds making it one of the quickest cars in india right now to be manufactured of course this is a 1 liter tsi as well which is a 3 cylinder unit this 4 cylinder unit is a cut above it but the 3 cylinder unit with the 1 liter is also great i mean good enough it gets a job done and most people are going to buy it for sure because obviously it's made in india so it's going to be more attractively priced to see it is so quick with directional changes and body roll is super well contained in second gear when you're revving the motor pull strongly even to the top end of the rev range i mean it redline so smoothly yeah there is some small sound actually there's a lot of sound you can hear inside especially from the suspension from the engine and also from the tires because insulation levels are not that great so they've cut corners in terms of insulation but you won't really complain about because I mean it sounds sporty and it's fun and you're going to get the 1.5 only for the fun factor and the manual is definitely my choice in that regard okay i am enjoying driving this car there is sort of a puddleish no problemish and we just glide through it good amount of ground clearance so you never have to worry about going through the worst of roads brakes amazing all right let's get going again revving the motor and off we go there's so much grip on offer now there is never a problem in that regard oh my god we've got a massive puddle ahead but not a problem for this car because it takes everything in its stride here look look at me okay i get into first gear and rev the motor and off we go yeah you can see that it just glide through yeah the suspension can get a bit noisy but for the most part you have nothing to complain about i i i crashes through on the worst of roads that's the only issue as such but i have little to complain so this motor feels so much better with the manual gearbox a manual is a manual is a manual is a manual trust me on that there is no replacement for a manual gearbox and of course it costs 1 1 and a half like cheaper than the dsg right so not only you get better fuel efficiency here obviously it's got cylinder deactivation technology where it deactivates two of its cylinders to conserve fuel but you also have more fun it's like having your cake and eating it too the horn is me yaar i expect a better horn from vw for sure the thing is the road gets really bad ahead but not a problem because this tigun can actually go pretty fast over it so that is the level of ride quality it is stupendous to say the least now here we are into first gear because i want to see how much is the red line like and the red line 6500 rpm the dsg unit now it will upshift around 6000 rpm so you get around 400 to 500 newton meter sorry rpms more here i have to really slow down because this is a road under construction ground clearance is so good you will never face an issue and uh, overall ride is also brilliant i would say but the thing is it cannot do what the bolero can do the bolero can just glide through it the bolero is obviously a body on frame platform this is a front wheel drive suv and near limit understeer is prevalent it has to be because when uh, you try to push it too hard now then it understeers high speed stability is fantabulous to say the least it feels so good at higher speeds now i mean you can maintain higher speeds like nobody's business in fact top speed is around 190 kilometers per hour Oh my god brakes are so good i love the feel the pedal feel very positive indeed and then directional changes are so fast and so good as well so as i see it this Volkswagen Tiger is an absolutely fantastic machine very much fun to drive yeah it does not have all the features which its Korean rivals offers that doesn't matter drive it once you forget about everything because the driving experience is phenomenal in this car absolutely phenomenal driving experience in fact the price range should be somewhere between 12 and a half lakh rupees to 21 and a half lakh rupees depending on the variant i would suggest this is the best variant to opt for actually the GT plus variant with the manual gearbox best in the 1.5 liter guys of course because the 1.5 liter engine really punches way above ha oh, phenomenal experience of driving 
actually they've put so much safety tech inside this car but you know it gets very harsh on really bad road and that can be felt of course there's no denying the fact that the inherent stiffness of this platform but little to complain about because if you're going to encounter such roads you are better off buying a proper suv when i say proper suv one with four wheel drive and a body on frame platform but you're not going to encounter such roads in the city of course and that's the reason why you see most innovas here because of the body on frame platform which actually aids in such conditions so guys if you like this vlog make sure to give it a thumbs up that's a like button and also subscribe to the channel when the innova slows down you can absolutely pin this car because you know it can handle all that and more and the engine is so freaking fast driving sounds so sporty as well i like it if you like it too Give this video a thumbs up. Bye bye. Take care.